today I'm going to be filming a Q&A video because on my last vlog I asked you guys if you could comment down below some questions so yeah today I'm going to be answering all of your questions. So the first question is where did you get all of your guinea pigs? So my first two guinea pigs were Ruby and Millie and they were from um, Pets at Home. Then we got Oreo and she was also from Pets at Home. Then we got the um, two boys, Pudsey and Bramley, and they were adopted from a rescue shelter. And then a few months later we got Rolo, who was also from that same rescue shelter. And then we got, who did we get next? Um, we got Teddy and Badger next and they were from a different rescue. And then we got um, Miffy and Panda who were adopted in Pets at Home. So what are your thoughts on pet store cages? Well, they can vary, but generally I really dislike pet shop cages just because I think the majority of them are too small. Although I do think they are getting slightly larger and better, so there are some improvements that I've seen. The next question is, what editor and camera do you use? So to film my videos, I use the Lumix FZ45 and um, to edit my videos I use iMovie for Mac. Um, the next question they asked was um, what company built the frame for your outdoor project and no company built it, um, my dad actually built it so yeah I'm really happy with how it's turning out though I think it looks really good so yeah um, my dad built the frame. Um, they also asked why did you start YouTube? Um, well, I've had several other YouTube channels before this one. I think one of them was called something like The Piggies and Paws. Um, I can't really remember what the others were called. But I just kind of gave up on them all because, I don't know, I just kind of, I wasn't really enjoying it. And um, I don't think I was getting many subscribers, so I kind of just stopped them channels. Um, I think they weren't very successful, so that's why I didn't like carry on with them but um, yeah I started making YouTube videos because my parents suggested that it would be a good idea to film um, our guinea pig cages because ours were quite unique and we had wooden runs at the time and not many people um, have wooden runs for the guinea pigs like in the UK I know that but um, I just thought it was kind of unique so I thought I would share that with YouTube. Um, what pets do you have? I have eight guinea pigs, three gerbils, a hamster and a cat. The next question they asked was, when did you start YouTube? My first video was uploaded in August 2013. And the final question that they asked was, do you have any tips for making good videos on YouTube? Well, I do think that having a good quality camera does help because it does make the video more enjoyable for people um, when they're watching it and having good lighting. I don't actually use like studio lights or anything, I just use natural lighting because I th I'm quite happy with using that but some people like to use studio lights just so um, it's a lot better quality but I think natural lighting is pretty good. Um, and also like have good music, keep it interesting and like crop out all the bits you don't want and just keep it like kind of short and interesting so people don't get bored. The next question is when did you get your first guinea pig? So I got my first guinea pig back in 2012 and um, that was Ruby and my sister also chose a guinea pig called Millie but she got bored of her so um, I kind of got them both after that. The next question is why do you like guinea pigs and what inspired you to have them? I love guinea pigs because they come in such a wide variety of different colours and fur types and I love the little sounds they make and I just think they're so fun to watch 
and they're so adorable so yeah that's why I like guinea pigs. What inspired me to have them? It was actually my dad who came up with the idea to get guinea pigs. I had never ever considered getting guinea pigs before, he just decided one day that it would be a good idea because we had this little um, playhouse which was not in use anymore so he thought it would make a good guinea pig enclosure so yeah that's what we did and they didn't end up living in um, that playhouse because it wasn't ideal and that's why we got them. The next question is where did you get those pine cones and what do I have to do to clean them? So I just went to go and collect some that had fallen from the trees and then I put them in the oven. I can't remember what temperature it was at but um, it was high enough to sterilise them so they were safe for them to chew. They also asked what type of bedding do you use and I use dust extracted wood shavings and some people don't like to use wood shavings but personally I really like them because I think that wood shavings are very absorbent and they are very easy to get hold of. The next question is what kind of guinea pig would you recommend for new guinea pig owners? I don't really think that there is a certain guinea pig which is best for new owners but I would probably stick to short haired guinea pigs if you're a first time owner just because the long haired guinea pigs can require grooming more often so they are a bit more high maintenance but it doesn't really matter if you're willing to put in the time to groom them each day then it's not really a problem. They also asked how do you know if a guinea pig is right for you and I actually made a video on that so I will link it down below. The next question is why did you want to get guinea pigs and like I said before it was my dad's idea so it wasn't really my plan to get them, it was quite unexpected so yeah that's um, how I got them. The next question is what is your dream gerbil cage and that is quite a hard question. <laughs> Um, but I think I would love to have like a massive glass thing with loads of levels and like just something that would go against a wall that would um, provide them with loads of space that would be absolutely awesome. I will try and insert a picture if I find any on the internet that I like the look of but yeah I think I would like a really large glass enclosure. Um, they also asked uh, what is your favourite guinea pig breed? And I love so many different guinea pigs, I don't think I can pick just one, but I really do like the tortoiseshell guinea pigs, I do adore their colours, so yeah, that's probably my favourite, but I have so many that I like, so it's quite hard to choose. They also asked, what are your top five favourite YouTubers? Um, that is really hard, and I don't really want to pick five individual people. I do have a featured bar on my channel so if you're wanting to see who my favourite YouTubers are then you can go ahead and look there but um, I do want to give like a shout out to one YouTuber and her channel is called Little Adventures and I just love her videos, they're really great to watch and I just love her guinea pigs and I think she deserves so many more subscribers so if you have the time please go and check out her channel and I will also link her channel down in the description so you can have a look at it but I do definitely think she deserves many more subscribers because her videos are great. The final question that they asked was do any of your friends know about your YouTube channel? Yes, my friends do know about my YouTube channel but it doesn't really bother me, like I don't really mind that they know about it. The next question is what is your favourite brand of small pet products? I do love Trixie and the Naturals range of pets at home. I do think their products are really great and I'm really into all the natural products as you probably know so they're probably my two favourite pet brands. The final question that they asked was you have £100 to spend in pets at home what would you buy? I think that's a really good question actually. I would probably end up adopting all the animals in um, the adoption bit which is really bad but like I just wouldn't be able to resist. Um, I would buy loads of the natural products like the bendy bridges and just stuff like that and I would probably um, also buy some guinea pig food because it's always good to stock up on guinea pig food so yeah, I think that's what I would buy if I had £100 to spend in pets at home. What is your favourite cage setup you had 
for your guinea pigs so far. And my favourite was the one I did at Christmas time in the girls' enclosure, which is right behind me. And I had a mini Christmas tree in the middle and loads of fairy lights around it. And I think it looked really pretty. So that was my favourite setup that I've had for the guinea pigs. The next question is, would you ever consider getting mice or rats? And I haven't really thought about that before, um, but I don't know really, possibly in the future, but I'm not too sure. I don't have like a desire to get them. I would probably go for mice out of the two, um, but I'm not too sure. I do love little um, African pygmy mice because they are like the smallest breed of mice and I think they are so cute. The next question is, would you ever consider getting a rabbit or rabbits? And yes, I would probably like to own them sometime in the future. I do like rabbits and I think it would be a good experience to own them. So maybe in the future I will own some rabbits, but I'm not too sure. The next question is, do you give your guinea pigs baths? And this is something I do very rarely, if ever. I have only ever given Pudsey and Bramley a bath and that was because they were getting quite greasy and quite smelly and that was during the summer, probably because they were quite hot and I just thought it would be a good time to give them a bath but I don't think that bathing guinea pigs is necessary unless they have some parasite problem or they're just really dirty. Um, I think with the longer haired ones they may need um, bathing more often because obviously their fur can get quite matted so possibly them but I don't think it's very necessary to bathe your guinea pig. The next question is what is your favourite pet animal and your favourite wild animal and why? Obviously that's got to be guinea pigs and my favourite wild animal I have no idea actually. I love so many wild animals, I don't think I could choose one, so I'm sorry about that. The next question is, what was your first ever pet? My first ever pet of my own was a Syrian hamster. They also asked, what made you decide to get guinea pigs, gerbils, hamsters and a cat? Well, the guinea pigs, like I said before, that was my dad's idea. Um, the gerbils... Well, this is quite a long story, but I had been researching African pygmy hedgehogs for ages and I decided that I would really want to own one, but we were kind of looking at the reality of it and I decided that it wouldn't be the right pet for me, but my mum made a compromise and she allowed me to get three gerbils. And then with Jasper, who is my cat, um, well, we did have a... Um, stray cat turned up at our door one day and her name was Sparkle and unfortunately she had to be put to sleep so after that we kind of felt like we were missing something without having her around so we decided to adopt another cat and that was Jasper. The next question is will you be getting any more pets anytime soon? If so what? I don't have any plans but you never know, something could happen and I could end up with a different pet but I don't have any plans to and I won't be going out anytime soon and getting any more pets. The next question is how old is Bramley? We adopted Bramley two years ago and he was two years old when we adopted him with Pudsey so now he is around about four and a half years old. They also asked, do you buy the toys and bedding for the guinea pigs with your own money? I do buy like the toys, like the bendy bridges and the accessories to go in the cage, but I don't pay for bedding because if I did, I think I would have run out of money by now because it does get quite expensive. So my parents pay for that and I tend to buy like the things to go inside the cage.